Cheerio. Leave my mat alone. You gonna climb up the wall? Casey. Look at mama. Oh, oh, oh. Somehow, every time you move, more Cheerios appear. Okay, so where you hide them? Where you hide them Cheerios? Hey guys, so I have been awful about filming, but I'm trying to get back on track. So I kind of wanted to let you know what has been going on. I'm sorry, I just got out of bed. I'm drinking my coffee, so I haven't gotten ready. But on Friday, I went and got my hair done, which was much needed because I have not had my hair done since Casey was two months old. Okay, he turns one next week, next Saturday. So, need it done. <laughs> so now it is thinned out and it just kind of reshaped some. My hair's usually really healthy because I don't put a lot of heat on it, so it didn't need trimmed up or anything. I just like layers, and I like it thinned out just to help me with styling it. So I got that done. I'll show a picture real quick. And then yesterday was Saturday, and Casey and I woke up early, we got ready, picked up one of my friends that lives in the neighborhood and we went over to David's Bridal because another one of my friends that lives in the neighborhood is getting married. So we were trying on bridesmaids dresses and trying to figure out what style we kind of wanted to go with and the bride already had the colors picked out. We were just trying to see what style worked for the most body types because you know every girl's different. Some carry their weight up top, some carry their weight down on the bottom. It just, you know, depends. So we found the dress that we like. This is not going to be the color that it is in, but I will show a picture of the dress here in a second with me in it. And it was just so nice to be able to get out. I know that it sounds so bad, but I had been paranoid when Kaysen was really, really little about how much sickness was going around. And don't get me wrong, sickness is still going around. But without him being as small, I'm not as concerned about it. And then I know my friends are super self-conscious about it because they all have kids. And it was nice that I was able to go and do something like try on dresses and my friends just traded back and forth with Kaysen. So I was able to just try on dresses and not have to worry about it. And it's nice to have those people in your life. And I highly recommend if you are a mom and you do not have those people in your life, try to find those people. Because it is just so nice. And there's a group of five of us in the neighborhood that are really close. And... If any of us need something, the other one's there for them, whether it's for the kids, whether it's for us, whatever the case is. Um, so I highly recommend doing that. Today, we are on an adventure. I am going to go with my husband to go get some stuff from the store. Um, we need just odds and ends, like milk for our coffee, um, eggs because I have to make Kaysen's cake and cupcakes and then I feel like there was something else that I needed who knows I'll figure it out I have a list somewhere 
and then um, we're going to go to um, the mall because we have to pick something up and then we're going to go back to David's Bridal today and I'm going to go ahead and buy my bridesmaid's dress because they're running a promo currently where you get $20 off. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick and I'm not sure what else we have planned but this is our last weekend before Case and Turns of One. It's super super sad but it's okay. It happens, they grow up, and as a mom, you love watching them grow up, but at the same time, you hate that they're growing up because they're not your little baby anymore. Um, he weighs probably like 20 pounds now, and when he was born, he weighed like seven pounds, six ounces. So, you know, they're just not that tiny little baby anymore. But it's also fun because he's getting around, he's exploring, he's playing with toys, he's learning how to do different stuff. So it's like a good and a bad, happy and sad. You get in the cars? You show mama the cars? Hey guys, so it has been a long few days. Um, I kind of wanted to go over what happened and just explain how these last few days have been. So I already shared with you on Saturday we went and went, ooh my hair is atrocious, <laughs> we went bridesmaid dress shopping and trying on bridesmaid dresses and everything. And that went well. And then Sunday we went with my husband to go pick up some stuff for him. And I went back to the store and bought my bridesmaid's dress. Um, now that we had the rest of the bridesmaids on board with the dress and the color and everything. And then we went to go eat. Um... After we ate, we loaded back up into the truck. We're heading home. And we got home and probably five to ten minutes after getting home and getting everything settled, I went to nurse Kaysen and put him down for his midday nap. And when I went into the room and had him start nursing, he always grabs onto my hand. And when he grabbed onto my hand, his hand looked really funny to me. So I started looking closer at it and it was extremely, extremely swollen and extremely, extremely red. Um, I kind of freaked out about it and yelled at my husband to get in there and to look at it and he did. And I just didn't know what could be wrong and it kind of scared me so I told my husband I want to take him to an urgent care and get it looked at um, and I'll show you a picture real quick of what his hand looked like so um, I got case and ready and packed up some stuff in the diaper bag because I didn't know how long we were going to be and I started calling urgent cares to see which one had the shortest wait and all of the urgent cares around me said that they would not see anybody under two years of age so that left me only with the pediatric emergency room because it was Sunday and the doctors were closed so we drove the like 45 minutes to the emergency room and they triaged him pretty quick, got him in and two different doctors came into the room and were looking at his hand because they just really didn't know what it could be. Um, they ordered x-rays, which all came back fine. And once the x-rays came back fine, they said that they were going to just do Benadryl and Motrin 
and then monitor him to see if it helped any. And they gave him that and monitored him for about two and a half hours. And it seemed like the swelling was going down some. Coloration was a little bit better. By no means was it a drastic change. But it was getting better. Um, it's been... We went Sunday to the emergency room. He's been on Benadryl. Monday, Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. And it'll be his last dose of medicine. Um, because I took him... Well, I'll rewind. The emergency doctors really didn't know what caused it. They said it could have been he was eating something and then put his hand in his mouth and the spices or something on anything he ate could have reacted with the skin. Um, he had no allergic reaction in his mouth, around his mouth, anywhere else on his body. It was only the left hand and left arm. So... They kind of said, that's our best guess. We don't really know what happened. Continue Benadryl for 24 hours. So the next morning when we got up, his hand really didn't look like it was getting too much better. And it worried me. So I called his pediatrician. They got me in later that day. And she looked at it and she said she really doesn't think it's due to food like they were saying. Um... She thinks more so he either got some sort of bug bite and she said something as small as even like a gnat biting you can do it um, when they're that young. She said it could have been something broke the skin. It could have even been he got a bug bite and then was chewing on his hand and it irritated it. Um, she really wasn't sure. She just said obviously something irritated it. And, um, brought it to this level. And while the swelling had gone down and stuff, some, she said she didn't want to stop Benadryl immediately because if that's what's helping it, then we don't want to stop it. But there's no telling what exactly it is, whether it's going down on its own, if the Benadryl's helping it, whatever. So, she said 48 more hours of doing Benadryl. So, like I said, he's been on Benadryl Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday, and it'll be his last dose this um, evening. And his hand has gone down tremendously. His fingers are still pretty swollen. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. But it just, it truly scared me. Um... I'm glad it wasn't worse than what it was, but I think more than anything, it's kind of scary knowing something reacted this way, um, or his skin reacted this way to something, but not knowing what it was, because now you can't really prevent it from happening again, you don't really know what it could be, um, he is almost a year old. He'll be a year Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in three days. Um, and he's had all the major allergens. And that's why the doctor was like, she's not concerned about allergies because he didn't have a reaction in his mouth or anywhere else on his body. And he's had all the major allergens, eats them regularly. So she's not really concerned about that. Um... But we'll see. Hopefully it goes down and we don't have to have this problem again.